And when nobody wakes you up in the morning, and when nobody waits for you at night, and when you can do whatever you want, do you call it freedom or loneliness? When we first met a little over four years ago, I never could have imagined we'd be here now, today, standing in front of all our friends and family, officially becoming man and wife. John Edwin, I have loved you for four years now, and today I get the privilege of becoming your wife and loving you for all the rest of them. I remember the first time our eyes met, you gave me that giddy feeling, and I felt, without even ever talking to you, that there was something special about you. Perhaps my soul recognized you as my person. Hugh, our first date. Our connection was instantaneous. We shared stories, we laughed, we were honest and vulnerable, and ultimately, I felt an ease and comfort around you. I was able to be my authentic self with you from the beginning. It was so refreshing not having to pretend to be someone else. First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this most of happy of days. It's no accident that each of you are here today and each of you are invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of both Dana and John. Marriages bring hard days just as they bring beautiful ones. This day is a reminder of what your love has already accomplished and the amazing possibilities of what it can continue to accomplish and overcome in the many, many years ahead of you. I found myself thinking about you often. When I wasn't with you, I was wishing I was. When we were together, time felt still. Before I make promises to you in front of all these witnesses, our friends and family, I would love to share a few things I love about us. I love that I can look at you in a crowded room and feel like the only person there. I love that you accept me for all my forgetfulness and help me find all of my lost items. My keys, the phone, the remote, even when in the moment I'm usually blaming you and asking you if you took them. <laughs> I could go on and on, but at the end of the day, I love that you are my partner in all that life has to offer. In front of all of our friends and family, these are the promises I make to you. I promise to help shoulder our challenges and celebrate all of our little wins. To tell you every day how much I love you and appreciate all that you do. To continue to learn from you and to follow the examples of patience and respect that you continuously set. To try my hardest to step away from my stubbornness, I am a chismar, and accept that I make mistakes and that I am, to my dismay, not always right. I promise that you will be my forever date and I vow that no matter how many years together we will continue to date each other. I cannot promise I will always be the perfect wife, but I promise to love you through the good times and the bad to choose our love every single day. We met at a time I had placed myself in a self-imposed dating exile. But through your beauty, wit, charm, and tenacity, you convinced me of the error of that decision. I was instantly comfortable with you and felt a bond that seemed almost preternatural. The beginning of a relationship is always the best time, isn't it? Learning about each other, Showering each other with affection, missing one another, becoming completely and utterly codependent. <laughs> Chef's kiss. I choose responsibility. I choose commitment. I choose, where's the remote? I know you did something with, oh, there it is. I choose duty. I choose honor. I choose codependency. I choose life. And I choose you. And I will always choose you from now until my last day. It is with such joy that I now send you out into the world to spread the beautiful light that you share with those around you. By the power invested in me, I now, for the first time, pronounce you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. I'm so pleased to announce the newlyweds, John and David Judge.
fight with you and fight for you, but never against you. I promise to remember we are not perfect, only perfect for each other. I promise to recognize the humanness in both of us and not set expectations. Rather offer grace and love always. I promise to love you without hesitation from this day forward for the rest of my life. I prayed for God to match me with a partner for myself and Veda, and you were one of my answered prayers and then such. And lastly, I vow that I will choose you every day a million times over, not because I have to, but because I want to.